hello good afternoon and good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and today's episode we are going to learn another um photoshop quick tips and tricks and this is the current photoshop quick tips and trick we embark on and then we look at something in photoshop called drop shadows so please if you haven't watched the tutorial kindly go and watch and it's for beginners and pro at the same time so you can watch and update yourself in a current trend and current way of doing things in photoshop and this is part of the photoshop quick tip and tricks so therefore it's not going to take much time it's probably going to be less than 10 minutes yes it's under 10 minutes i'll make i'll make sure that it doesn't go beyond 10 minutes and it doesn't be below maybe five minutes as well so maybe five minutes six minutes seven minutes and we are done it's very very quick it's very very quick if not because of voice over or just guiding you how to go about it, then it shouldn't take us two minutes at all but and for the purpose of tutorial and for the purpose of beginners who want to practice and learn and get the better understanding we need to do it step by step so that everybody can understand so as i said it's part of the photoshop quick tips and tricks Therefore, let's dive into Photoshop. You open your Photoshop and you launch it like this way. So you open a canvas out of 1920 by 1080. If you look at it, it falls beneath here. This is in inches or yes, it's in inches. But if you want to make it in millimeters, it's 1920 by 1080. And then set the background to any color of your choice. Then we type a test. So let's say we are using a test known as maybe what test, what test, what test, what test. Let's use welcome good something like this nicely control t to scale it up very nice like this and then you position it at the center uh maybe welcome is welcome too big let's yes you can use welcome but maybe let's double click it and then type good sorry good like this and this is awesome control t again so scale it up like this better 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 position it control a to select it then center and align it nicely like this control it to deselect then you go and pick your polygonal lasso tool if yours is not on yours in is an object selection or quick selection tool just right click it like this and pick uh, sorry 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 not selection this is rather so sometimes it's on lasso tool and then we want the polygonal lasso tool good so you select it and then hit here and come and hit here hit here hit here and come in. double hit here good to select the side good 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 once that side is selected you just add layer mask like this and then part is duplicated so control j to and to double click uh, sorry to bring it back and then press control i to invert it good so you have the text has been divided into two this and this good so you come to this the beneath one all right, all right, all right, all right. And hold control and select this side. Awesome, 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 awesome. But before control D to deselect it, and then the beneath one, just drag it down using your arrow key. Drag it down. No, 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 no. It's rather the top one. Okay, okay. You can drag it like this just to, cre to create the slide. Yes, to create the slide. Awesome, like this nicely like this nicely like this good 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 and then what you are going to do is that you go to uh, b to activate the brush tool and then add new layer to like this good and then set flow to 27 opacity to 66 and then smooth to zero awesome and your brush tool is selected pick the foreground color to be black if yours is at white then you might be doing something different so pick the foreground color to be black and then brush sorry you can brush it nicely like this brush it nicely like this brush it nicely like this all right brush it nicely like this brush it nicely like this or you can as you say brush it or you mask it nicely like this awesome 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 and that is it that is it that is it that is it so this should come down a bit or not 
should go up a bit better. Good, 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 good. Something like this is awesome. Something like this is awesome. And but because of the background is black, so we are not seeing it properly. So let's go and change the background. So go here, go here and change the background color to something like this. And let's see something like this. And guys, this is awesome. 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 You can change the background. Just experiment with the background and see which one suits what you want. And this is it. 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 The same strategy I used to create these things. The same strategy. So let me hide this and then I'm going to show you this. So the same strategy that I used to create this. The same strategy. If I open it, you realize it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So if I hide this, there's another one I did here. And guys, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So use the same approach to work on more. Use the same approach to work on more. So in basically, this is how to create a slide text effect in Photoshop. This is part of the Photoshop quick tips and tricks. So please like, comment, subscribe, and let's learn a lot more in Photoshop. Thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now.